we have so many colors here. So we are going to just simply transplant them. And what Mr. Hilder is going to do is you want to make sure you get that big root ball and, and do so in the most undisturbing way possible. You see how he just takes that whole tree trunk and we're gonna put them in pots. Hi subscribers and friends. In this video, we are going to teach you guys how to overwinter your pepper plants. Now, we just hauled out a couple of the pepper plants that we had inside. If you saw our other video, back to Eden one, we actually took these pepper plants and we dug them up and put them in pots and they have been inside the house for probably a good week and a half now. We didn't water them, we just let them get used to being indoors and what happens is they start to droop and their leaves will start to die. This is when you have to start cutting back the pepper plant and getting it ready for over wintering and that's what we're doing today so we brought out these pepper plants as you can see these leaves are they're just about ready to fall off and that's okay because the pepper plant now is going into a dormant stage but one of the things that you really want to make sure of is while you are cutting down your pepper plant you want to start looking for any pests or aphids now we were really really lucky with our back to eden garden method we don't have really any pests so but I remember the one year we brought some pepper plants in and they really just got okay, overtaken Okay, so look at your aphids. pepper plants really closely, people. Make sure there are no pests on there. And oh, look at these. And, and then uh, what we're gonna do before we cut them back is pick all of the remaining beautiful peppers that are on these plants. And then you need to start cutting them back. Now, Mr. Hilder just has a, a good old pair of Fiskars. And what you want to do, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's demonstrating tonight. And th there is, um, you don't have to be fancy about it. You're gonna cut them back to a Y. So just start clipping, make, you know, kind of make believe you're at Blame the barbershop. Blame as best that I can. What you want to do is prune back the branches of the plant to a few main Y's, okay? You're gonna leave about one to two inches in the upper part of the plant. So you can see here, there's only a couple Y's left and there's going to be some in the upper part. Now this is the beauty of it. Don't panic, this looks like, oh, this is awful. But it's not awful because those branches are going to come back in the spring. Remember, this pepper plant is now going into a state of dormancy. So I'll just show you. He's gonna demonstrate. It's not too fancy, I just basically trim so I can see what's going on here. And remember, just a few main Ys is what you want left. Once you get the bear down, you can sort of see a little yeah. bit better. And this also, it does help control the aphids because they are susceptible to apes. I don't know where, you know, I'll tell you what, friends, I don't know where the aphids come from, but that one year we had aphids and it was horrifying because we had taken all of these beautiful pepper plants and put them in pots and all of a sudden I seen the, the plant looked weird. Yeah, it was filled with aphids. It was not okay, good. I'm keeping so. Mr. Hilder very busy because he's back there pruning. And after you are done pruning, what you want to do is make sure over the winter that you find a, a really nice sunny spot for your peppers. Now they don't need, it's not like the summertime where they need tons of sun, but they still need to be in a sunny window. And the other thing, remember, um, we have, I'll show you right here. Here's our beautiful windows. Look at that, beautiful windows. But you don't want to put the pepper plants right against the window seal, simply because it's gonna be cold for those pepper plants. So you can keep them in the window, but don't butt them up against the window seal. And the other thing is watering. This is really, really key to the success of overwintering your plants. You know, in the winter time, it's so imperative to make sure we water those plants, right? but not when they are in a state of dormancy. Overwintering your pepper plants, you should not be watering them um, every day, every other day. What you should be looking at is every three to four weeks. Yeah, that's, that's not a lot of water, but that is all the pepper plant needs over the, the winter time. The other last thing too, and we're not gonna do this, but 
you can actually fertilize the the pepper plants if you want to now we have beautiful rich organic composted soil and we put those that soil that plant with all that beautiful soil right into those pots so i'm not even gonna bother with bother with fertilizer but if you decide to fertilize what i have read and you can do this research yourself always do some research yourself people uh the pepper plant needs more nitrogen than it does phosphorus during the overwintering period and the reason being it actually adds to their vegetative state hmm, go figure so just some key tips to the success of overwintering that plant <laughs> The dog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a what a cornball. What are you doing with that big stick? What are you <laughs> Okay, let's go see what Mr. Hilder <laughs> You look at that face you got on there. Okay, so look at these beautiful plants. Wow. Seems like you're massacring them, but I'm trimming these babies back. And that's look at all these beautiful that's what they need to look like and i want to show you something look before this. we go all of our pepper plants are pruned back out here isn't this great well mr hilder was not out here this is the handiwork actually of the deer uh we have invited the deer into our garden because you know um, it is the end of the season and we are just going to kind of leave these plants for them but they actually did I think maybe a better job than Mr. Hilder over there. <laughs> they did a good job, but but he's working hard. But his plants really do kind of look like uh, the deer's handiwork. Uh, they did a good job. So here are all the pepper plants cut back. I'm going to give you a good view of what they look like. And he's just finishing up the very last one. And oh, look at the spoils that we have. I just oh I'm gonna be I'm gonna be what am I gonna do with all these peppers tonight? Uh, they are beautiful. We got a lot of the hot peppers still and beautiful greens and look at the colors. Oh, they they are just great. Okay, looks good. They're gonna go right back inside the house. They're gonna go into that sunny window and we will give you an update. But people, this is the really quick. Uh, tutorial on overwintering your pepper plants. So get to it because we want success on the homestead. Right, Sprig? <laughs> right. Okay. Thanks for watching and God bless as always from my homestead to yours. So in this video, we just moved our pepper plants. They were indoors for about a week. And as you can see, we brought them out here so there's a little bit of light. They're in a drooping state. Now, this is going to be, um, hmm. Yeah. You can just keep cutting. It would be an hour off, several no. done. Hi, subscribers and friends. And this video. Okay, so. So after you are done cutting down all of those pepper All right, so Mr. Hilder is still pruning in the background. And the other thing that you want to do is, it is good. So as Mr. Hilder continues to prune the pepper plants, a couple things that you want to remember about overwintering your pepper plants. You want them to be in some light. Yeah, sure. Yeah, some yeah, light. I can see those peppers are warm. It'd be good for peppers because, you know, even in their dormant stage, the peppers need a little bit of heat. Do they need a little bit of heat? Probably not heat. They probably... Okay, so... So after you are done cutting down all of those pepper... All right, so Mr. Hilder is still pruning in. So Mr. F so Mr. F Mr. Fisker. <laughs> Mr. Fisker. Jeez.